today, Medicaid spending has had a 0% growth rate for the first time in Arkansas history. And he credits the state's transformation efforts and a drop in enrollment for traditional Medicaid in Arkansas Works. KRK4's Jesse Tenor joins us in studio with an update on the program's new work requirement. Jesse? Yeah, Ashley, last month the state required more than 8,500 Arkansas Works recipients, ages 30 to 49, to report 80 hours of work, volunteer, or school or job training experience to remain insured. Most of them, nearly 7,500, failed to report. If they miss three consecutive months, their coverage will be discontinued. Opponents of the work requirement, including the governor's Democratic opponent in November, argue an online-only reporting system just isn't fair. But Governor Hutchinson says not reporting could mean a lot of things. They could have gotten a better job, switched to their spouse's insurance, or moved. If they are not uh, uh, giving us the information to verify that, then that's the responsible thing to do for the taxpayers and, and to manage the program. Hutchinson reports the number of Arkansas Works recipients has decreased from 330,000 to about 275,000. He says that's where it should be based on the economy and proper management of the program. Back to you.